The, the judge issued a summary judgment and said, you know, this was not a violation of Title IX. The this, this school didn't do anything wrong, basically. Um, do you see it that way? It's really difficult when you look at what happens in the court system versus what happens perhaps administratively. Whether or not a case is successful in the, in the courts doesn't mean there isn't some, tort, some type of recourse. And for example, in a case like this, young lady is touched in a sexual manner and doesn't report it. That is very typical. There are a number of reasons why young girls and even older girls and even adults don't report having been the victim of sexual battery. When there's no report, the school has no way of knowing who's been victimized. And you see cases end up in the court system like this, where you have a judge saying, well, it might have been different had the victim reported it to begin with. This victim says she did report it, though. She told a teacher that somebody had done it to her friend. And if the school had institutional knowledge, shouldn't they be held to task? There's a couple of elements that have to be proven when you're looking at a Title IX action. And one of them, only one of them, is whether or not the school district knew. One of the other ones is they had to prove that the conduct was so pervasive that essentially it deprived her of an educational opportunity. I'm paraphrasing, but the bottom line is there's a lot of elements that need to be met. And in every individual case, every single one of them has to be met or they're going to suffer an adverse ruling. That's what happened here.